How's everyone doing? It's Shamblee87. After that lovely intro, I'd like to introduce you to Super Mario Bros. 3, my all time favorite video game. And this will be the beginning of my Mario Sonic Holiday Month. I'll be playing Mario 3, Mario World, Mario 64, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic Adventure. All this month. And it's gonna be awesome. Oh, you damn well bet. Damn well know it. Oops, sorry. Anyways, there's Mario 3, folks, and this is my all time favorite video game, actually. I don't think I ever told you guys that before. Oops. As you can tell, I'm playing this on the All Stars version. In my opinion, the best version of this game. But you can also argue that the Game Boy Advance version is um, probably better. Because it's actually had a few enhancements, which are um, pretty awesome. But I don't feel like digging up my Game Boy player right now. <laughs> Anyway, about Mario 3, I mean, this storyline's a little different this time. You don't go save the princess from the start. This time you're in Mushroom World and you have to save the seven kings of um, Mushroom World. From Bowser and his Kooplings, this time he's taken their magic wands and um, turned the kings into animals. And you have to, of course, find up. Hey, that was terrible. I think if we're talking in gaming, go well. But anyways, you have to save the um, Sailor Kings from the Kooplings, pretty much. That's right, no saving the princess. I'd do this level right, sheesh, that was embarrassing. And this is the first game where Mario can actually fly. Get the leaf power up, he brought Mario turns into a raccoon and he can fly for some reason. I wasn't aware raccoons can't fly. Oh well. Still my all time favorite game. It's a video game, who needs logic? I'll get it. <laughs> Don't die. There we go. Let's hit the level. There's three items you can get star, flower, and mushroom. If you get three of the same item, you get multiple um, one ups. If you get three different or two of the same and one is different or any other arrangement, you get a, um, you get one one up. One thing I really like about this game is the music. The music is awesome. Each world has its own theme. Each, um... The level's, the level's music fits the tone of the, um, level. It's, it's just amazing all together. I especially like it on the, um... On the, um... All-Stars version. 16-bit goodness. I had a little debate if I wanted to play this on the All Stars or the um, original Nintendo. I decided to do it on this because this is actually, this is my opinion, a better version, so hey. Still the same game though, it's just this one looks better and this sounds better. Damn it, come on. And now I'm in the clouds, I love this music too. I could just sit here all day and this is just music. But I'm not going to because I have an LP to do. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see if I can get to. All right, there we go. So you have five stars, let me get five one ups. If you have five flowers, you get three, and if you have um, if you have three flowers, you get three one ups. Excuse me. If you have three um, mushrooms, you get you get a two up, I believe, something like that. In this game, you can actually skip levels too. You don't have to go to the. <clears throat> I don't have to go to the fourth level. I just go down here, go to this bonus stage, and go to stretch the castle. But I want to beat all the levels for LP sake. And here we're introduced to Auto Scroll. I think for the first time ever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And. I'm not the biggest fan of Auto Squirrel, but whatever. Didn't need that. Grab that, keep it cheaper. Oh shit! I'm failing at my all-time favorite game. Well, I might as well show this off for the hell of it. You complete bonuses, you actually and get items. The items are saved up in this item bar right here. And when you're on the um world map, you can pick any item you want. All I have is the mushroom, so I'm gonna get a up. So of course I'm gonna use the mushroom. Figure I show that off right away. But for now, I'm not. I'm gonna be rare. I'm gonna rarely use it. I made it. If you get a good running start, you can actually get a star. You're more likely guaranteed to get a star on the, over there. But oh well. And this thing, you match up the face correctly, you get a um, extra life. And if I finish the star, I get um, a five up. Nice. That's probably the only time I'll do that. <laughs> Near are in the first fortress. Yeah, fire Mario for the first time showing it off. So it works the same as in the original Mario Brothers. Also, it's worth noting that if you get hit in this game, you have like a you get hit and you have a like a special power up, like a fire flower or a, um the raccoon tail or any other suits you see in the future and later on in the game, you just go back to being the um you don't shrink, you actually stay big. You just you, it's like you have a mushroom. And here's Boom Boom, and he is a grade A wimp. Like I said, grade A wimp. Oh, and here's another um, plus you get items. It's a matching game. You match the right items. It's, yeah, that was fail. See, so I match the mushrooms. I get a uh, mushroom item now in my item box.
Damn. Wee. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's quite a couple of secrets in this game as well. I don't wanna fly. <laughs> You're running. Okay, Agent. How come you're not doing Mario 2? I'm not the biggest fan of Mario 2. It's not a bad game, but. Um. I don't know. I'll cover it in a future game. It's just so different from the other Mario games. I'm gonna cover it in a future game. In a future um, LP. Like, I might do that and, um. Sonic um, CD at the same time. Since these games are so different, They're like the Black Horse, the um, they're so different. Try flying across, it didn't work. I was on this test playthrough, I thought I could fly across it, and it failed. I could do that. Oh. Three mushrooms, two, and the fire flowers, three. Belief. The hammer birds are a lot less annoying in this game, by the way. And now I have a star. Now we go to this castle. This is terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find the magic wand so we can change him back! I don't want to. Anyways, now we have to change it back. Now we're on our hunt for the wand. And this theme is kick-ass. This whole... the whole airship in general is kick-ass. This is where the airship originally was introduced, Mario 3. It's freaking awesome. Nice substitute to the castle at the end. And you know, you still get your fortresses, so it's not too bad. People who like castles instead, and you, know, you still get your castles, but I like the airships too. I like the um, variety. This game has a lot of variety. This airship's pretty short, though. But trust me, they get a lot longer and a lot harder. Looks more epic in the air with the um holding the wand up. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn them away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. And I have the P-Wing, which gives you infinite flight for one level. Just one. It's still awesome. I'll save those for later, though. Here we are in the desert world now, and... I don't really care for this world. 
It's kind of boring, honestly. It's probably the most... No, I take the back. The most boring world to me is the pipe world, which is a lot much later. And don't expect me to call out enemies' names because I don't know all the enemies' names. Well, I know that's a Goomba. I know the Koopa Troopers and the Paratroopers. That's about it. Oh, and the bloopers and the cheap cheeps and Big Bertha. And thwomps and booze. <laughs> That's about it. And bullet bills. And hammer brothers and boomerang brothers. I don't think I made it. Oh wow, two in a row. <laughs> rack em up, rack em up. Oh, by the way, the um, boss in the um, first airship I finished, that was, I believe that was Larry Koopa I fought. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I believe that was Larry. I guess some of the Kooplings mixed up too. <laughs> and this is the first time you see the Kooplings, you know? Then you see them again in Mario World, then they'll be MIA for a while until Mario... I still believe in Mario Luigi, one of the Mario Luigi games on the Game Boy Color. That was an extremely short level. Yeah, but Mario and Luigi on a Game Boy Color, and then, um, you see him... Game Boy Advance, excuse me. And then you don't see him again until New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Dry Bones, that's another one. This is the Thwomps for the first time. See, I love the different... Um... I love how this one looks different from the first, um... Castle. If you saw that ghost chasing me, that was a boo. You look at him, he won't chase you, but if you turn away, he'll he will start chasing you. You'll see a lot more of those in Mario World. <laughs> I love the variety in this game. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. I can't stress that enough. And of course the music. I just like games that have different variety. I don't like when everything looks the same. It gets boring, you know? I know some kids where hardware is limited, but yeah, that's forgivable. Like with Mario 1, they didn't really know, know to push their hardware so much. But then it got to the point that could push the hardware even more, then they're able to have granted this is the 16-bit version, but if you play the original N6 Super N the original Nintendo version, you'll still see a lot of variety. And then when Mario World came out, then whoa. And just a whole mess of things. Yeah, variety wins in my opinion. Oh, got that right, cool. Shit. Damn. Nice. 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 Ah. I was on a roll. Still got quite a bit of items. Don't worry, I can still get back my old items. Just head up and down the D-pad, you can scrub through all your items.
Anyways, I'm gonna take on this hammer bro this boomerang brother, excuse me. This first ender introduced as well. Ow. <laughs> Man, that was a terrible hit detection. And that music note right there will put the hammer brothers to sleep and you won't have to fight them. I will demonstrate in a later video. Most likely. And get my um raccoon tail back. Come back! One thing I don't like is that the Starman is extremely short. Yeah, I don't like that the Starman doesn't last long. Uh, maybe they do that because the levels are shorter too, so... Okay, because overall the levels in this game are a lot shorter. I think they did that because of the NES hardware. I got one of each. This should be something special if you got one of each, too, I believe. That's a hard feat in itself. And here's the famous Angry Sun level. At one point, that sun is going to start chasing you. Yeah, you can kill the sun. I don't know why it's not pitch black this now. <laughs> that level's not too hard though. There's a lot. That's another one in the eighth world, I believe. That one, and that one's a lot harder. Got a fire flower. Fuck your platforms, I can fly. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> that <thing> scared me. <laughs> Didn't scare me, but yeah. And now we're introduced to Chain Chomps for the first time. Oh fuck, that was stupid. Damn. Made a rookie mistake. What's up this being stock? What if Jack's up here? I shouldn't have that. Uh, well, I'm spot Mario, so it's rather worthless anyway. Huh. Yeah, that's your life. Go back! 
Yay. I don't care, no, it doesn't matter anyway. Alright folks, that's gonna do it for part number one. Send you for part number two, where I take on the pyramid and the second airship.